Hi everybody, it's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog, and I'm up at Concord City Place. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean Park Place, up at Shepherd. I guess I would have thought it would be City Place and not Park Place, because it's by Concord and it's exactly the same thing. Or at least it will be soon. As you can see now, there are four buildings that are completed, and everything is for sale. And when I say everything, I mean almost everything. I was just talking to a local agent that told me, and I will do my homework after I make this statement. She said that almost half of everything is for sale. Half of everything. She said there are 200 to 300 units for lease or for sale, which tells you that the entire complex is bought by investors. Now, I only wish that you could see what's on the other side of this giant fence because there are plans for two, three, four, gosh, I don't even know, plans? What kind of plan? A plan that's actually been released? A plan in someone's mind? Or just a plan of common sense? When you look at how much land there is available here, and it is all going to be developed. All of it. How many buildings could you make? 15? 20? 20 buildings? I don't think it's that far off. These guys are dug in. Site offices are here. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. This entire site, and I don't know how many acres it is, but the whole thing's gonna be developed. And that's just the start of it. So you wanna talk about City Place? You know I don't like it. You know what I think about it. And to be perfectly honest, I think most of my comments have proven to be justified. The lawsuit's going on. You've got falling glass. You've got parking structures that are sinking. You've got balconies that are locked. Is Park Place going to be the next City Place? Time will tell. But is there really two to 300 units in those buildings that's available? That is what I want to find out.